What's up, guys? Ugly, ugly game. But as a Celtics fan, I'm just thanking God that we're not 0-3. But if you're a 76ers fan, you got to be, uh, you know, those shots fall and you guys win this running away, right? So very off night for Joel Embiid. But um, if he just takes it tougher inside more instead of standing around shooting threes, this this is a totally different game. Uh, and Ben Simmons as well. I was amazed that... Uh, I was amazed that Al Horford was able to stay with Ben Simmons. I thought Ben Simmons was going to light him up off the dribble, but we didn't really see that aggression with Ben Simmons, did we? We saw if he did drive, he was kicking it out to teammates, looking to pass, not looking to score. So he did get another double-double, but his position on top of the rookie ladder is very much uh, susceptible to somebody else to step up and have a really big game or a couple of big games and run past him. Uh, so t what next game or tomorrow night, I think you guys have another game. I forget who you play, but, uh, Ben Simmons better be aggressive because they're going to need a scoring with Joel Embiid sitting out the back to back, but just a very ugly night from Joel Embiid. And, uh, he still managed 14 rebounds and 11 points though. So even on the off game guys, he's still not killing you by any means and, uh, makes a couple more baskets and he's dominating. So very ugly game. Uh, 76ers fans were all pissed off about the refs. I think I understand that. Uh, I understand that. It was called very, very, very tightly, wasn't it? Um, as a Celtics fan, I'm just super psyched to get the win. So uh, Shane Larkin, guys, wow. He was almost the player of the game because in that third quarter when everything was so, when the Celtics just looked like they were just ready to fall apart in a self-esteem spiral. <laughs> Shane Larkin just kept his cool even after a couple knuckleheaded plays and just kept knocking down shots, guys. Just stay cool, knocking down shots. Veteran presence. So what a steal for the Celtics to get this guy out of China or wherever he came back from. But uh, he was almost player of the game, but Kyrie Irving, player of the game. Uh, and he was very clutch in the fourth quarter, made a couple big buckets, and then he uh, drew the foul on the three-point shot, and I think he knocked them all down. But five turnovers, a little ugly. Man, this game was so vulnerable for the Celtics because the chemistry, the reason why the Celtics kept turning the ball over and missing all their shots in the first half, even into the third quarter, and all these dumb fouls, it's like, it's like a chemistry issue. Everybody hesitant on their shots, just not a lot of trust in each other yet. So hopefully they build that, and this is a big stepping stone to get their first win because this would have been devastating, guys, devastating. Kyrie Irving, you know, I think I, people are just trying to figure out how to play with him. And uh, part of Isaiah Thomas's impact, guys, was his uh, intangibles. Everyone trusted him. Everyone, you know, every the chemistry was good. He had great chemistry with all his teammates. Kyrie Irving has got to build that. And uh, thank God we got to win. I wouldn't want to see what would happen if we started out 0-3 or 0-4 or something like that. Um, but, yeah, Kyrie Irving pulled through. He pulled through. And we got our first win, and he's our fourth fourth quarter guy. So hopefully he can do more in the earlier quarters. But uh, And everyone else is just going to get more comfortable. Getting that first win under our belts was huge. Jason Tatum, <clears throat> 9 for 9 from the free throw line. That's huge. 15 points and 8 rebounds. 3 blocks for the rookie. So he's averaging like 9 points and 12, 13. No, 9 rebounds and 12, 13 points now. Uh, Jalen Brown with a very much off night. 0 for 3 from the free throw line, 8 rebounds still, but plus 14 is pretty good, so his defense must have been rock solid, guys. But uh, Shane Larkin with the team best, plus 16 in those 19 minutes. Thank God we have Shane Larkin. And Terry Rozier I thought was really, really good too. Really good. Uh, and if it wasn't for Kyrie Irving's fourth quarter, I would have said that Terry Rozier had a better game. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's your update for this game. 76ers fans, hold your heads high. You guys have a bright, bright future. As young as the Celtics are, 76ers are much younger. Things are going to get better. And uh, J.J. Redick, man, he was pretty sweet. Real sweet. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Peace.